the Edge in Wigan, which is our venue for gathering together with the Synod members who've been doing a huge amount of work over the last few months, going out into parishes, engaging with people all over the place and doing a huge amount of listening, really taking the Synod questions to people and hearing what they have to say. So today we're feeding back to them everything that's been heard and it's just wonderful to have that opportunity to be able to share with them the, the wonderful work that they've been doing and seeing where that might lead us on our journey. In responding to these questions, people have prayed, reflected, shared and listened to each other. We're hearing about all these conversations that have happened around the Archdiocese over the last number of months. It's quite exciting, it's just going to be great to hear what people are saying, what they're thinking, what they're feeling in the Archdiocese and it might just give us an idea of what to do next. It's a great event so far, there's some great people here today who really want to see some change in the church, they want to see it you know, moving forwards. I got involved because I wanted to encourage more young people to come to church. We have the Synod members here, we've got ecumenical observers and that's a real enrichment in our Synod journey. We've got some special observers, people we've invited who can help us to reflect. So this is the next step of our journey. I've met loads of people and everybody's just been so friendly and we've been having some great conversations around you know, Synod 2020, what our expectations, where we think it's going to go. Yeah, and I think everyone's feeling really positive about the whole process. It's really interesting to see what the themes are and they're so broad, I feel like we're going to get an awful lot out of it. It's absolutely brilliant to see those, those kind of things discussed. And for me, making the church more inclusive, make, you know, welcoming everybody, no matter where they come from, no matter you know, where they are right now in their lives. Welcoming everyone, for me, is the future for the church. We're looking at the future of the diocese. It's no use just listening to one part of the church or one area. We've all got to hear what that future could be. There's a lot going on under the surface here, which I think will emerge as the process continues. So that's part of my reaction so far. We've got to listen to each other and try and move forward as well. So, and it's just good to support each other as well, you know. And I'm sure some of the things that people have heard today will be challenging, but that's, that's, that's who we are. That's the diversity of who we gather, and we're not shying away from that. It's all about people. We need to be connecting with people, engaging with people. So this is the Catholic Church in the Archdiocese of Liverpool, and it's alive. It's vibrant, it's exciting, and it's going places.